everyone. As you may know, the Supreme Court of the United States just recently started its new term earlier this month. And given that we're starting a new term, we thought that we would highlight some employment law cases that the court is going to hear this term that we thought were interesting and would be of interest to our management and employer clients and friends. The first case that caught our attention is Muldrow versus the city of St. Louis. And the question that the Supreme Court is going to decide is whether Title VII prohibits discrimination in transfer decisions absent a separate court determination that the transfer decision caused a significant disadvantage. So the court is focusing on the adverse employment action prong of a discrimination claim under Title VII and is trying to determine when and under what circumstances a transfer decision amounts to adverse employment action. This case involved a police officer who was transferred from one unit to another unit. Her salary, benefits, and title did not change in any way, but the new position did come with some different terms and conditions of work. So she, there were different um, benefits in that she had to wear a police uniform as, a, as opposed to working in plain clothes, and she had to drive a marked car as opposed to an unmarked car. And although she did have overtime opportunities in the new position, they were different from in her prior position from before the transfer. So under those facts, the Eighth Circuit held that the plaintiff's transfer was not an adverse employment action, and she could not bring a sex discrimination claim under Title VII as a result of the, title of the transfer decision. The plaintiff appealed that decision to the Supreme Court, and later this year in December, the Supreme Court will address whether or not that, that transfer, and in general, when transfer decisions moving a, uh, an employee from one position to the next, when that rises to the level of an adverse employment action for discrimination purposes under Title VII. So certainly stay tuned. This is a case that we're going to keep on our radar. We'll keep watch and provide an update when we see a decision on this case.